The demise of Daesh in northern Syria has created an opening for another terror group seeking power in the region, the YPG. The group is closely linked to the PKK terror group, whose attacks across Turkey has led to the deaths of more than 40,000 people over the past 35 years. The YPG's ultimate goal is to create an autonomous area that links its territories from east of the Euphrates River all the way to the enclave of Afrin near the Mediterranean Sea. We speak to the Americans regularly. We discussed the issue of the YPG terrorist organizations, and we told them that their support for the YPG allows PKK terrorists to gain strength, and this poses an increasing security threat to Turkey. Washington has designated the PKK as a terrorist group, but supports the YPG with weapons and training. Turkey says the U.S. promised the group would be disarmed after the defeat of Daesh, but Washington has yet to fulfill that promise. In fact, the Pentagon's 2019 budget includes $300 million to train and equip the YPG and $250 million for building a border security force in northern Syria. We have very uh, open discussions about options and we will work together and we'll work out any of the concerns. I'm, I'm not uh, concerned at all about the NATO alliance and the relations between our, our nations. Uh, if not always tidy. On January the 20th, Turkey took matters into its own hands, unilaterally embarking on an offensive against the YPG. We previously spoiled the game played in Iraq. With Euphrates' shield, we stuck a dagger into the heart of the game played in Syria. One by one, we will destroy all terror cells in Syria, starting soon in Afrin and Manbij. Those who try to stab us in our back while appearing to be our allies cannot stop us. The Pentagon does say it will not support any YPG members who head to Afrin to fight against the Turkish military. What could bring this crisis to a head is Turkey's promise to advance on the city of Manbij. Its soldiers would not only confront YPG fighters there, but also American forces. OK, well, Ahmed is here live with us. So it appears that the battle for Afrin is starting to draw to a close. What is the next step in terms of the push towards Manjib? Well, the uh, president of Turkey repeatedly says that they're going to continue with this operation. They move to Manbij because it is very essential for Turkey to clear the, the west of the Euphrates River. But it's not only in Manbij. It seems that Turkey is even adamantly insisting on going to the east of the Euphrates River, all the way to Kamishli, to Tel Abyad, and even to the Iraqi borders. They insist that the YPG should not have a, sever a safe house on their border because it's an existential threat to the national security of Turkey and Turkey insists that this is going to go on whether Tur the United States agrees or not Turkey is going to go ahead with the operation it seems okay so Operation Olive Branch has already put uh, Turkey at odds with the US so this continued push does that kind of put them at a sort of heading towards a critical juncture with the US well, with the Rex Tillerson in position, they, there was a kind of, you know, optimism in the region that the meeting that was a, a supposed to happen on the 19th of this month, that they, they're trying to approach a kind of, you know, a deal between them. The communication channels are still ongoing and the American administration is understanding what's going on here. But with the, the departure of Tillerson recently and the, you know, the, the new administration, the new Secretary of State, who is completely on the same page with Donald Trump, it seems that they're not going to be on the same page and things can get worse and worse. But again, Turkey will not deal with the person himself. They're dealing with the establishment. Still, the voice of wisdom is coming out from Ankara saying that we're still uh, interested in keeping this relation on good terms. But whether the United States is going to treat the same way as Turkey and taking the concerns of Turkey seriously and trying to to find a way to negotiate the concerns of Turkey regarding the YPG, that would make things 
even uh, worse or better, depending on Washington and how they're going to play out in the coming few uh, months or weeks even. OK, well, some interesting negotiations and conversations to be had. Thank you, Ahmed, for joining us. Well...